Hello everyone, welcome to Lost in the Real. This is Sean, and we are going to be doing a new film that was just released on Friday called The Rental, directed by James Franco's younger brother, Dave Franco. And here's what we have to say about it. It was blah, 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 blah. That's what it was. So this is another horror film that just came out on Friday. Uh, and you can also get it on Amazon. Uh, you can rent it, uh, buy it. It, like I said, it is directed by uh, Dave Franco, and it stars Dan Stevens from Downton Abbey. Also, Jeremy Allen White, who's in Shameless, and the beautiful Allison Brie from uh, Netflix's Glow, and then also Sheila Vand, who uh, is in this incredible movie called A uh, Girl Walks Home Alone at Night, and so cool to see her in a film, and she's amazing in this one. And this movie basically follows two couples, pretty simple, and they go to an Airbnb just to get away out of town, and there's some scandalous things that occur, uh, but then also they start realizing that the owner of the house is watching them with cameras, and things start to unravel, and then it becomes kind of like a horror slasher type film. So. What I think about this movie is I am actually very impressed by Dave Franco, especially being a first time writer and director. Um, he's also um, accompanied by Joe Swanberg as uh, a co-writer. And uh, I'm impressed by Franco's direction and how assured he is uh, as a first time director. But I couldn't help thinking the whole entire time that this movie would have been better suited for uh, the director of Your Next, uh, just because it just takes itself so seriously. And then I looked at the uh, filmography of Your Next and realized Joe Swanberg was an actor in that movie and he's a writer on this one. So it's kind of interesting. Um, but Dave Franco takes this movie very seriously and then there's a couple of moments that are just like, what? Like trying to do humor and it's like a little obnoxious and also a lot of the characters are on ecstasy the whole time um so it's just it's some interesting choices there and you can tell he is a first-time director but uh you know he does have some really uh great choices here as well and it does get very suspenseful uh towards the end of the movie but basically it is just a very character driven uh, drama until, uh, you know, maybe the last, the last act of the film. So these couples, you know, it's a lot of fighting. It's a lot of blah, 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 blah. Uh, and unfortunately the writing is not great, but the acting is fantastic. And these are four really amazing actors. Franco was very lucky to be able to have them uh, in his film. Alison Brie is actually his wife. And just, they really elevate the material up far more than it should be. So they are really the plus of this movie. And he does a really good job without using a lot of gore for really kind of creating an intense situation. But at the end of the day, when I was thinking about it, I just was like, I don't, I don't know if I'll ever remember this movie, unfortunately. Uh, it's competently made, it's very well acted, but, it's, and it's a little scary too, it can be, but I, I'm not gonna watch it again. It's not amazing, but it is probably worth your time if you wanna watch uh, something just to, you know, uh, scare your pants off for a hot second. So the rental is available now, like I said, and I will be giving it a C. And like I said, just, it's just, it's a hard C. Just, it's forgettable, but I am happy that Franco is doing this work right now, and I am very excited to see what he has to do next. I honestly think that he should maybe just do like a 
character straight just a, like a straight character driven drama rather than a horror film um i think he really excelled at a lot of that material so please comment down below let us know if you liked this movie if you saw it if you don't want to see it if you're interested and then also please like the video and subscribe to our channel and we will see you next time this is sean and lost in the real take care